Hello there. Welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Songs of Conquest. This is a new game published by uh, Coffee Stain. They've published uh, a bunch of really cool games, including Satisfactory. Uh, key provided, thank you very much. Um, game is in early access, just so you know. Things are bound to go wrong, but this is a tactical, both micro and macro strategy kind of uh, sandbox RPG. I don't know if it's sandbox. I believe it is. It looks like it has a bit of open worldness to it, so I'm I'm really excited to check this out. This looks already like 100% up my alley, but uh, let's give it a go. You can consider this. Let's try a um, tentative episode zero for a series. Um, <laughs> undoubtedly, when I do the playlist, I will I will stuff it in there as well. So, um, the first song, the song of South Heart. Cecilia Southheart, the young baroness of the barony of, S sorry, Stoutheart. Stouth? Yo, I can read. Most force enemies within and without to hold on to her power and protect her people, Southheart, um, will stand. Start campaign, sure. So, I mean, obviously the look of this game, like, really drew me in, like, immediately, but, um, there's a, there's more, there's, there's a lot to this, and it looks like a really, really cool game it's got like it looks like it's got a lot of depth to it um in the year 593 aa young cecilia stoutheart rose to baroness after the untimely death of her father when our uh when ore shipments from barkspur's rich mines go missing and rumors of bandits are brought to the new ruler cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the barony this game kind of gave me um, War Tale vibes, and I, I still really want to do a series of that game eventually, but um, this this looks like it, it's got some chops. All right. I'm assuming we'll have a bit of tutelage. Cecilia Stoutheart, the new Baroness of the Barony of Stoutheart, was on her way to the quarries of Flint Hills. Flint Hills. All shipments of stone from this region had stopped, and she was determined to find out why. She suspected an uprising of bandits and peasants, and had already sent troops to the region to restore order. New objective, travel to Flint Hills. Uh, Alright, so I'm, yep, that's over there. So, movement. Right click, got it. Um, set destination, left click to mouse button is use, useful, used for selecting and inspecting. All right, and I guess we end turn in order to add, to do stuff. So we got a bit of uh, you know civ civness. I missed that that prompt immediately. Plus two movement duration one turn. Okay, so we've got a buff. Gallows source of knowledge. Yeah, check that out. Death comes to all, some sooner than others. Plus two fifty XP. Nice. Um, so yeah, like immediately. I was like, yo, this game looks incredible. Um, oh man, the, the, the depth of field and the and the 3D effect going on. It looks like it's, um, the whole thing is kind of like inside a toy box or like maybe on a, on a map. It's really cool. Um, I love this like kind of collage of, of different styles and, um, you know, kind of coming together. This, this is really cool. Like we got like, three or four different things going on like we've got like almost high fantasy artwork for the ui we've got like um you know retro kind of pixelated art for our our like main game and then we've got like extra post-processing effect i'm sorry I, I gotta i gotta appreciate some of the stuff going on here um the dead commander wore stout heart colors and the distinctive sign of the corvus reserves Stolen ore was one thing, but an uprising against Stoutheart troops was more serious. Dead Commander, an old artifact is found on the body. It could prove useful in the time to come, or sold for gold. You know, I, I, I like I like dagger. I like dagger for stab, for stabbing. Your wielder has gained a new artifact. You can review your inventory and equipment in the wielder shield, sheet. Next to your wielder portrait. An artifact will be auto-equipped if your wielder has an equ empty equipment slot of the same, of the right type. So did we get the, did we did we get the dagger? Is the dagger on there? The wielder sheet gives you an overview of your wielder. Um, this is where you can 
Check your skills, powers, inventory, and equipment, and modifiers. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff here. Skills are abilities that gain as you level up. Powers are awarded to a wielder once they reach level 8. Uh, the wielder will gain a new power to or the option to upgrade a current power. Powers are similar to skills, but more powerful. Yeah, okay. Wielder sheet artifacts are equipped. I wonder if I've been like accidentally skipping a lot of these. Dragon drop the artifacts from your inventory to the appropriate equipment slot. Okay. Wielder attributes. While leading their troops into battle, the wielder will pass on values in offense and defense directly to their troops. For offense, it's divided into melee offense and range offense. When relevant to for a specific troop. Okay. Um, can collect a lot of modifiers and bonuses from skills, equipment and modifiers, temporary modifiers, troop modifiers. Gotcha. So we did get the dagger. <laughs> that's that's the important thing is we got the dagger. All right, it gives us a, a good sense of uh, we have got got a good sense of conveyance for like you know how far can we move. Got some more stuff to check out. Eight hundred gold, plus two wood. There's also, I mean, like, there, this game kind of reminds me of, uh, oh god, I'm going to forget what the game was called. Um, their re most recent one was called, like, Planetfall, I believe. But it, it was, like, basically civilization meets a magic and heroes of might and magic and all that stuff. Some wounded soldiers appeared from the, soldier, uh, so, sorry, from the forest and snapped to attention. This was Cecilia Corvus Reserves, and they had clearly seen combat recently. Hail, Baroness. Baroness, the Corvus Reserves await your command. Lieutenant, you've seen some action. What is the situation and status of the mines? Our scouts detected hostiles about, my lady. The gold mine to the south has been seized by rebels. We also encountered an unexpectedly well-armed force at Flint Hills to the west. We took heavy casualties and were forced to retreat. How well-armed. These aren't peasants with tools and knives. They have crossbows and swords. And bannerless knights ride with them. This is no peasant uprising. Someone thinks we, someone thinks me weak, and seeks to take advantage of my father's death to steal more than a few shipments of ore. We must uphold the laws and show them the er errors of their way. Uh, gather the troops. We march for Flint Hills. We do, but maybe we should take the mine first. Troops to join. Decide what troops you want to move to your wielder. Well, both of them. Oh, I see. We can only have one. Bummer. Footmen or rangers? We have one footman and we have one rangers already. So maybe we should have another footman so that we, um, yeah. Wait, can we combine these? I think we can. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we can we, we just increased the number of troops they have. Okay, so you can have you can have um, multiple troops under the same kind of um, category. Mass move. Okay. If I if I'm a slow learner, I, I apologize, but I am I am trying to pick things up as much as I can as quickly as I can. Let's check out the source of power. Plus two movement duration one turn. Okay. Uh, let's. Can we go... I guess it's just going to give us the, the two movement right then and there. Okay, let's end our turn. I want to check out the camp. Soldiers are camped here. Their camp can be pillaged for gold or the soldiers can be recruited when they return. Let's take the rangers for now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reasons to get gold. but And maybe I'll regret this, but I think for now we, we want to get as much firepower as we can. Source of power... Resting for a while by this waterfall invigorates the troops, plus three movement. Gotta love the, um, I'm appreciating the sound design as well in this game. Alright, let's try, let's try some combat. Stand down. This mine belongs to the barony of Stoutheart. It belongs to me. We will do no such thing. You would be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. There's one coming, I gather. The only storm gathering here is me. Prepare yourselves. Troop deployment. On the deployment screen, you can rearrange your troops before entering battle. You can only place troops on tiles with your team color. Tiles that are elevated, high ground, give bonuses to offense and defense to both melee and ranged units. Got a, There's a little bit of, um, what's that game called? Hero Clicks? If anyone knew that one, 
shout out in the comments. Ranged troops can target any enemy within their range, and within their deadly range, they will afflict double damage. There's no line of sight. The only limit is how far their weapons reach. But note, you can increase their range by moving to high ground. Gotcha. In the top right corner, you can see the enemy troops. Uh, if you engage the enemy and then realize that the opposing enemy is too powerful, you can withdraw at no penalty. Good. So we're incentivized to withdraw if things are looking grim. The quick battle option will auto-resolve the battle and present the outcome to you. After the battle, you will be presented with your result, victory or defeat. The troops lost in battle will be shown for each side, and if the two combatants are wielders, there is a chance of spoils of war in the form of artifacts. I am I am so so excited for this game. Honestly, this is this is really cool. Um, okay, so we've got our footmen. We can move them elsewhere. I don't know. Okay, so we've got our elevated hills here. We want to. We definitely want our rangers to be there. Um, I would say it would make sense to have our footmen near the rangers so that we can engage with the enemy close. Like we can draw them towards the rangers and then have the footmen basically hold them close so that the rangers can can you know get their get their shots off. So let's do a manual battle. We definitely want to see what uh, you know the tactics combat looks like in this game. Battle basics. In battle, your goal is to kill all enemy units. Your wielder, or the enemy wielder, is not present on the battlefield, but acts as a spellcaster from behind the lines. The order of battle follows the battle queue, which is based on each troop's initiative. You can only control a troop on their battle turn. Use right-click to move the target. Okay. Uh, whenever a troop gets a turn, the wielder will gain essence from your spellcasting. Your wielder also generates essence. Yes, so I, I believe troops, certain troops will generate essence, and then you can use those to cast spells. Um, skills, buildings, or research at the start of each turn. Okay. The spells button will indicate available spells you can currently cast. The quick bar will be by default auto populate the top available spells for each axis in battle. Okay. Obstacles such as stakes, barrels, or other objects can be cleared by damaging them. High ground gives offense and defense. Ranged troops can target any enemy within their range. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Most troops have attacks of opportunity. Classic tactical uh mechanic here if you move a troop onto an enemy troops melee range their zone of control and then try to move within through or leave that area the enemy troop will perform a free attack they also have abilities gotcha all right so um oh they have they are all crossbow units interesting i didn't actually see that coming i guess they did warn me that the enemy had uh, uh crossbows so, fair enough. Nice, really snappy animations going on here. More spells available. Your wielder has gained more essence, and more spells are now available to cast. If your wielder has enough essence, you can cast multiple spells on each of your troop's battle turns. Okay. Alright, well, so what is this? Quicken. They're quicken their bodies and their minds. Target friendly troops gain... Five initiative and plus one troop movement. So uh, we would benefit from that for the troops. We definitely want to attack. Well, the, yeah, okay. So we can attack um, with the crossbow. Or sorry, the, the, our bowmen. They are in within deadly range, I think. All right. That's, that's not nearly as intimidating as I thought. Uh, we got a new spell, protection. Target friendly troops get plus 10 defense. Let's, let's cast that for sure. I, I love the animations in this game. It's like seriously a treat. All right. So they, they made the mistake of approaching. I'm not gonna attack this one since our footmen can actually reach that one. Let's instead attack the other one. Wow, that was a nice kill. Your troop has entered an enemy troop's zone of control. If you move out of or through this area, the enemy troop gains an attack of opportunity. Okay, but well, we're going to attack them. And then we'll finish them off. Our bowmen really did like a lot of the heavy lifting there. Victory! Plus 250 XP. Excellent. Level up wielder. 
Leveling up your wielder is all about skills and powers. You can choose to either upgrade a skill your wielder already knows, learn a new skill, or increase the wielder's ability to command their troops by unlocking more slots in their army. New skills offered are determined by the class of your wielder. I'm wondering if we have control over our, our wielder's class later on, or if that's decided by the campaign. At level 8, your wielder will be able to choose their first power. Powers are superior to skills. Gotcha. Level up wielder. You're able to close the level up menu if you need to review things or don't feel ready to pick a skill or power. You can always choose to come back to your choices by clicking the level circle. Okay. Level two, Cecilia Stoutheart. Um, okay, so guard your troops gain plus 20% melee resistance, current plus 10%. Melee resistance. Your wielder gains plus 15% increased experience gain. I mean, this seems like the obvious choice because then we'll get like levels quicker, maybe. Unlock the ability to bring four troops with you in your arm army. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. But we don't have four troops yet, so I think I'll get the extra experience for now. And we'll get the stuff from this. Take back the gold mine optional. Receiving 500 gold per round, did that say? Or just for this round? We'll grab this 800 gold as well. We'll gain uh, an extra, can we gain no more time for rest? Okay, we so we, we got everything we can get here. Claimed. We are gaining 500 per round, so that gold mine actually provides like a passive income. Got another source of power here. Cecilia was no ordinary commander. She was a wielder and could draw upon the essence of her troops to weave mighty spells. As she touched the old tribute to order, she felt its essence empower her. That power would be needed to the something something. It's gone forever. Okay. Walking this old battlefield inspires caution. Plus 20 defense, negative 10 offense. Duration, one battle. Okay. I'll have to play around that maybe in the next combat. Let's visit these uh, these old camps. I can queue up like a, a lot more movement. I don't have to be approaching things like in this way. Definitely, I want... Oh, if I take these militia though, I... Th I oh, I do have... I do, I do have one more slot. All right, let's, let's grab those... Uh, so I now have crossbowmen, or, or militia, if you like. We have more militia. Perfect. I'm going to take troops every time, because I, I would prefer to have an easier time with combat than to get the gold. Uh, more footmen? That's, that's great. Archer's Gambeson. I just learned about Gambeson. Apparently, um, you know... In in uh, kind of I would I'm gonna mistakenly say medieval combat, but um, you know please feel free to uh, correct me in the comments. But basically, not everyone had like metal, iron, or steel armor. Um, instead, they had gambist armor, which was bas basically like several layers of cloth, and it was like a real pain in the butt because it, it like warmed them up, right? It was like insulation up the yin yang right hundreds of years ago the empire of aurelia spanned the whole world statues of the empress can still be found spread across arleon and many folks spread speak dreamingly of the golden years of aurelia plus 10 initiative plus one troop movement duration one battle so we've got a couple of buffs for the next battle um yeah, so, so people wore, like, several layers of cloth, and they got really, really, like, warm and stuffy and sweaty in, the, in these. But it did protect them, basically, as much as, like, well, can you say as much as metal, uh, you know, iron or steel um, armor? I have to th believe it, it did protect them more than nothing, but it was a, it was a thing we, we used. Erected barricades and a small force of armed peasants block the, the road west. You best be gone, young Stoutheart. Flint Hills are free lands now. Free? Free to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other baronies? Who will protect the people? You? Why not? As you can see, we are quite well armed. I can see that, but I caution you to think carefully before your next actions. Put down your weapons, answer my questions, and I'll be merciful. Or stand unlawfully against me, and my sword will deliver justice. Now, who? 
Who armed you? One of good intentions. I've seen Stoutheart Mercy. When old Lord Hammond was decapitated by your father, now turn back. It brings me no pleasure to turn my sword upon my subjects, but the unlawful acts will not be tolerated. Stoutheart will stand. Well, we got a lot of um, kind of uh, elevation variety here. Maybe we can move our militia up these hills to gain uh, like a, a height bonus. Our footmen are unfortunately way, way in the back. So they're going to have to burn some movement just to kind of catch up. Oh, I should have switched my uh, my bowmen are in the wrong spot. I, I mistakenly have the footmen here. That is a bummer. Okay. And yeah, they're not going to be able to reach. They can... Oh, I guess it's the footmen turn. So, like, uh, turns don't really work the way you might suspect. Um, y your turn is, like, one soldier per 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 turn basically uh and i'm assuming initiative is kind of like uh D, D in that like all of these units have a different initiative it looks like i'm going to be able to take the first three turns because um our our footmen militia and rangers have had higher militia than the enemy's uh units and i'm also assuming that um based on some of our previous buffs that we got for the next battle uh that that came into effect and gave us a benefit so all of that's very good. Um, it's maybe not a good idea to move up, but uh, I'm going to do so anyway. <laughs> nice. And we are definitely moving up with our uh, bowmen. Can they actually fire? Oh, you can move and fire in the same turn. That's nice to know. Uh, I'll go for the other one so maybe the footman can get some action. Oh, cheese. Shield up. Wow, this guy was right to move because uh, now I can't reach him. I'll still try, but... Um, can Do you think we can... We can't get up there, apparently. So we're just going to have to move. All right. Hit them. Yeah. I, I do wonder um, if, like, units are going to gain a benefit from, like, like, do they gain XP specifically for killing units? That, that's always the question for me. Uh, pacify target enemy troops get negative 25% damage. Interesting. Uh, rally, fill your troops with inspiration and bravery. All friendly troops get 10 defense, 10 melee offense. I, I have to wonder if essence is something that is saved between battles. I have to assume in, that no, it is not. The amount of castable spells. Um, plus five initiative, so we could increase our ni initiative for certain units. I'm just uh, I'm just looking around. I'm not even strategizing, but I am uh, I am looking at some of the spells we can cast. We have a lot of nice um, like we've we've got a lot of agency as a player. Like we got spells we can cast, buffs we can cast. Like you know, I th later I, I noticed in the trailer there's like a cool um, meteorite spells we can cast that just like rain fire down on the enemy. So there's oh we did we did lose some troops. So okay, damage dealt to a troop is in the form of losing some of them. Like they their health is equal to how many troops they they have. Um, well, okay, that is not not necessarily true because i noticed they actually have health as well maybe so i don't know i'll figure it out plus 1000 gold so what do we got going over there bannerless knights i don't know i um, i'm wondering if we could we could go south no we can't go south that is like completely blocked off okay plus one movement so let's go and take on the, the knights. As Cecilia's troops approached Flint Hills as well armed force of soldiers, uh, a well-armed force of soldiers wearing no baronies colors came out to meet them. Knights, archers, you're no ordinary bandit force. I've always wanted to kill a wielder. You won't be the first upstart knight I've defeated. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe... Okay, we move the footmen in the center. 
I guess like they they also gain a benefit from the hills. I think we have to we should hold back maybe. Let's like maybe bunch them up a bit. That might not be a great idea. I'll move the footmen there and then maybe we can move them onto the hills here. And um we'll let them come to us. Yeah. Um, so we can attack them right away. Let's do that. Oh, they get uh, they get a counter attack. Interesting. Outside range. Okay, so we're gonna we can't move. So you can't like you can't choose who you want to move, right? So if if I had my way, I'd I'd move the bow, bowmen over here, and then I move the crossbowmen where the bowmen are. But you don't have that level of agency when it comes to, um, you know, rearranging your units. So instead, I'm gonna just move up. So I can I can reach this guy because oh he's not dead oh I see so they do have health and then they the number represents maybe how many troops they have yes correct we did manage to kill them but they they took out a few of our footmen so now we're gonna have to move up um. And the footmen, their footmen are going to have a turn, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. I was probably better off on the uh, the hills, because I, ha I had an uh, advantage there. Wow. Okay, so you a lot of things can happen in one turn. Right. Okay, we took them out. Nice. We are taking quite a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta move our bowman up. Oh, we can't actually hit him. Probably we will not do much damage. We actually did take out one of their troops. Nice. And you can see um, the, the, your, your, the range of your units really increases exponentially the more height you have. So you really do want that height bonus. Nice. We did take some damage, but, um, you know, it went well. And this is early on, so, I mean, I'm assuming things are going to get a lot more difficult later. Yeah, we lost 10 footmen. That's not great. But we reached level 3. Your wielder gains thir uh, plus 30% increased experience gain. Current. Oh, wow. So we can just keep doing that. Um, new skill, plus 10 melee offense, plus 10 range offense, plus 10 defense. Duration, two rounds. Oh, this is a skill. So we would use this and gain this. Unlo unlock the ability to bring four troops with you in your army. This is tempting. Um, yeah, I'm thinking more troops. So, like, I'm just worried that when when we come to the opportunity to have more troops, we're just going to have to say no and take a gold instead. And I would much rather have uh, more variety or more troop variety. Um, all right. So we still can't go south. We'll go north. This is looking like maybe the town where we can start building, uh, like, you can do, like, actual town management, city management. A crowd of peasants led by a village elder came out to greet Cecilia as her force entered Flint Hills. I've defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hills to the protection of Stoutheart, as is my duty. Now who among you will tell me what happened? Those knights and their soldiers appeared recently and armed all the local troublemakers. They seized our quarries and mines and started sending the shipments south towards Barkspur, where their patron waits. And none of you stood against him. None of you sent word to the local warden or to Springhold. No, milady, we were afraid of a, a feared of our lives. We sent a messenger to Hope's Glade to warn them and ask for help, but the messenger never returned. Remember this moment the next time you are made the offer of independence. I will always protect the barony from threats within and without. Join my forces, and together we will restore order to this territory. We'll heed the call to arms of Stoutheart as we did your father before you. There are able-bodied recruits in the mount, uh, peasant hut. Investigate Hope's Glade. But we get some more troops. More troops. But these cost money. These ones are not free, I think. 
Um, no troops available to upgrade. Okay, so we'll we'll grab some troops. I'm assuming there are maybe other troops available. Receiving 75 gold each round. The smith generously parts with their latest work. Archer's helmet. So we get some equipment maybe. Can we uh, equip that? Did we already equip it? Yes, we did. So what does uh, the... Um, equipment on our wielder offer is it just um, the benefits like trickle down to our troops basically wielder gains plus 15 guard melee resistance unlocks the ability to bring four troops so I, I do wonder um, that that uh, extra defense uh, skill we could have gotten was that just a passive I'm also wondering what the uh, the turn like turn order in this kind of uh, overworld, what effect that has. Like, is there also another wielder taking turns when I'm like ending my turn, receiving plus two stone each round? Nice. There's a lot to a lot of things to 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 learn here. Did we claim this already? We didn't claim the stone deposit. There we go. Receiving plus two stone each round. Um, neutral, we'll go visit the Cozy Tavern, and then we'll probably go south to meet the next combat. Peasant hut. We could probably do well to renew our, our footmen numbers, because uh, they, they did, they're not doing so good right now. Small band of Cecilia scouts stood waiting along the roadside. Lady Stoutheart, Corporal Greenwood, we've come from your warden, Vilja, Vilja of, of Thorncliffe. As per your command, your troops are concealed at the forest edge. Corporal, this is not the forest edge. These troops are camped within the tender, tender wild. You have disturbed the Fae. The Fae, milady. Surely the Fae are only a myth. Superstitions for the country folk. Did my ancestors sign a covenant with mythological creatures? The law of the leaves will stand, still stands, and we must take, make sacrifices or break the peace. Consider what we must forfeit to the forest bring, brings to atone for your error. I await your judgment. My life is yours. Your death would serve no one. If I remember my history, there is an offering tree southwest of here. Join up, Corporal. I, I will need all of my troops, even the ones who make mistakes. Your loyal servant, Lady Stoutward. Um, okay. Mass move. Let's do it. So we get offense, plus one offense, plus one defense. That seems to be permanent. Doesn't seem to suggest a time limit on that one. Um, yeah, I'm going to take more militia. Actually, I think we're, we're full on militia, so we'd have to, they would become a new troop. Yes, indeedy. They did become a new troop. More rangers. Um, we can't take them all. So we just filled up what, what what we could. And we can take a bunch more militia. I am going to take all of the troops I can instead of gold. Giant mushroom. Spores from these strange mushrooms fill the army with berserker rage. Negative five, 25 defense. That doesn't sound great. There's a, okay, we got, we got like a, some fey we can fight here. Fey spirits, flying creatures of the tender wild with bat-like wings, long claws, and sharp teeth swooped and buzzed before the offering tree. They were, wore strange masks and screeched at Celia and their troops. Humans be gone. We wish to leave an offering for our trespass on the forest. As is stated in the ancient covenant between us, stand aside, little spirits. I would do my duty. No humans, no, no, never. Spirits, do not trifle with me. I am Stoutheart, and by the agreements I seek to make amends. If you continue to impede my passage to the offering tree, I will draw arms and put you out of your misery. You are misery. Misery. So be it. Okay. Um, so, big old uh, hill in the middle. I'm going to move everyone up as far as they can go so I can get that hill as quickly as I can. It's 
So they have already taken the hill. Not ideal. I'm wondering, um, let's, uh, so they had a much higher initiative. I'm wondering if it would be worth just holding back a bit, letting them come to us instead of uh, trying to fight them on the hill where they will have a distinct advantage. Uh, I wonder if maybe eventually we'll get uh, abilities that let us like defend instead of doing our attack now, we do it when something comes within range. Our footmen are really not doing great. Okay, let's just take some pot shots for now. Oh, they these guys are, are, are not too strong. Okay. Perfect. They do some damage, though. Oh my god, did we just lose... No, we didn't lose 27 troop. Okay. There we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. They did some nasty damage, but... I think I did that as well as I could have. Victory! Alright, stone circle, make an offering. Circle infuses any visiting wielder with power for the next battle. Nice. We got some shoes. Out of movement. Worn boots, I'm assuming those are already equipped. Yes. Alright, let's uh, go make an offering for the Fae. The offering tree was the most unusual tree Cecilia had ever seen. Her friend Vilja of Thorncliff had described them once before, but it had not done them justice. The branches were smooth and glossy, and seemed to be lit from within. The leaves uh, tinkled l like tiny bells in the breeze, and most uncommon, the tree gave off the aroma of warm spiced cider. Like her mother would give her when she was small. I gotta, I, I do appreciate the flavor text. This game is, uh, it's not just going for like a hard tactics game. There's a little, you know, quite a bit of uh, world building going on as well. Fae of the forest, for trespass upon your woods, we offer compensation. For these fae spirits slain, I ask forgiveness. They could not be reasoned with. Let our peace be everlasting. Nice. As the offerings were presented, the forest around Cecilia grew quiet. Hopefully it was enough. We gain a small boon. We'll visit the waterfall. And we'll go check this out. Oh, there's some gold over there as well. We got a round shield. Got that round shield? Nice. We're getting lots of equipment. Got some more gold. Sacrifices have been made here. They fill Cecilia Stoutheart with power. We'll go get that gold. Um... Uh, and we'll check this out. I want to check everything out. Oh, there's a, another combat. I might make that combat the last one for this Let's Try, and then we'll continue this into uh, the series. As Cecilia examined this strange arch, she noticed that it was almost warm to the touch and vibrated slightly. She studied many strange ruins from the times of Aurelia, but never one that seemed so alive. Ooh. Wow. Big old XP bonus. Um, let's go ahead and get that melee offense, ranged offense, 10 defense. That seems like it will be good for us. We get some extra movement and we'll go and uh, fight some spearmen maybe? Or spear people? Guarding the road was a large force of mercenaries hailing from the merchant states of Baria. Turn back. The road is open for ore shipments from Flint Hills only. I see you are strangers to these lands or you would know me as the lawful Baroness Stouthard. I do not recall a declaration of war from the Barian city-states. Therefore, you are thieves and trespassers. What other crimes shall I add to the list? We have committed no crimes. We are honorable mer mer uh, sorry, mercenaries, not mercenaries, here on contract and merely following orders. I spit on your contract. You have my ore. Therefore, you are thieves. You will return it. Tell me who hired you, and maybe I will ransom you back to your employees. Wow, Cecilia Stoutheart does not play games. We are not afraid to fight you, Stoutheart, but no, be warned. Our contract states that no one wearing Stoutheart colors are to be sparred on the battlefield. Spared. Not sparred. Of course, if you turn around now, we can avoid this battle. Never. You shall be treated as thieves and trespassers, and my sword will deliver justice for breaking our laws. Then, unfortunately, we must battle. Uh, alright. I like what is going on here. This seems like a, a nice... 
uh, pretty good way of doing things. Our footmen, I don't know, I keep putting them in the front, but maybe, maybe I should not. Me, I, I'm tempted at some point, I should press that quick battle just to see what that looks like, but I, I can't help myself. Uh, first of all, these, these combats are really fun. If only just for the animations, they're, they're like really, really spicy. I like them a lot. Um, so these guys have quite, a nice range to them. I have to assume that this is the, that blue outline is their movement, and then the red outline is their attack range. That's a nice. Um, I, I appreciate that conveyance of, of information. That's really helpful. That tells me that I can move up, like say, up to here, uh, without getting hit. Except no. Now the attack range is is conveniently uh, wrapped around our footmen, and they are now in danger. Well, that is just a big old bummer, isn't it? Yep. Well, they have spears, don't they? All right, spears are long and spears will hurt. Um, so, oopsie daisy. You know, attack when reloading. Oh, they have to reload. So we'll just move them up the hill then. They're also reloading. Interesting. I didn't. How did I miss that last time? Victory. Well, we lost our footmen, but I mean, you know, they died the way they lived. Uh, they. They. Uh, they. They. They lived a hard life. Let's be honest. Look at all the stuff we have to look at. It's a town on fire. Cecilia's troops searched the smoking remains of Hope's Glade, looking for survivors. The townsfolk had clearly put up a fight, and for that, they had suffered. From the rubble, they heard a moan, and they uncovered a badly injured militiaman. Lady Stoutheart, we held as long as we could. We held, had to retreat. They were too strong. Who did this? Barians? A troop of Barian mercenaries marched on towards Barkspur, but it were... It were knights that attacked us, men of Arlian, setting fire to our homes, taking no surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills north of here. The wounded men tried to speak. The wounded man tried to speak, uh, then fell limp. His eyes glazed over as the last sliver of strength left his body. His essence is in the wind, but Southheart will stand. Still stands. Come there, our survivors here yet. Um, let's search the hills before we journey. South to Barkspur. It's time we put an end to this. Liberate Barkspur. Look for survivors, optional. I mean, we're ob always, always gonna look for uh, survivors. Why not? I guess uh, right now we, we kind of have free reign over our turns. I'm sure later we're gonna have to prioritize things a little bit. Um, can I look at what kind of equipment I have before I make a choice on something like this? I guess not. Um, maybe later it'll give me better information on something like that. Like, if I have gloves, it'll show me the comparison of what those gloves are. Um, yeah, like, right now, our turns are very much just, like, take everything, but I'm sure in the future we will have a competing force that we are, um, making turns against. As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern and the soot-covered, injured and scared survivors of Hope's Glade. From among them, a minstrel stood and greeted Cecilia. Hail, do my eyes deceive? The Baroness of Stoutheart to grant reprieve. If you mean to avenge these foul knights, then we brave souls would join your fight. Yo, he, he rhymes. Rhyming minstrel. And with your aid, Stoutheart will stand, returning peace and order to the land. Yo, Cecilia got message received. Understood the assignment. Look for survivors, optional. Complete. Oh, uh, we got a, we got a, ooh, new unit. Minstrels. Excellent. Well, we just lost our footmen, so we may as well um, take the, the, the minstrel. Uh, yeah, we lost the footmen, so we may as well take the minstrels. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what the minstrels do. Maybe they can buff our, our uh, units. No survivors remain, but sifting through the ashes, some resources are found. Okay, so 
I don't know. I kind of want to finish this off because the, the map is like I feel like we're almost at the end of this. I wouldn't say like not through the campaign. This likely this is just like chapter one of the campaign. Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barksburg. It was clearly occupied by another force of Barian mercenaries. This one led by a wielder. She re readied her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. Oh, there we, there it is. Nemander Breeze. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, we, we have been competing against another wielder this whole time. All right. So they've got some interesting unit. The Jig of Jugs, did I just read that? Oh, they, they also have bard people, but they're orcs. So what does our bard do? Um, plus five defense to friendly. Costs one movement and ends the turn. Uh, okay. I don't really know if that would be... Okay, we'll, we'll give it to them. I'm not sure yet what... Uh, I guess the bard... The, the minstrels can probably fight like anyone else, right? Wow. Wow. All right, this is good. Let's uh, let's get this height bonus. Um, what are these people? Deadly range. I'd like to know more about these people. Well, whatever. I'll I'll, I'll shoot them. Um. Wow! Nice. <laughs> the sound effects. The sound effects are so good, though. Nice. Okay, minstrels can fight, of course. I don't, I don't know why I would think that they can't. So, oh, that, that right. That's There was an attack of opportunity there. I forgot about that. No ranged attack, adjacent enemy. All right, so we have to. You can't. You can't fire a ranged uh, attack if there's a adjacent enemy. Gotcha. So there seems to be this unspoken extra effect going on called momentum. When you uh, are doing well in combat, it seems like maybe that your units get an extra added buff. After the battle, a beaten Amanda Breeze is brought before Cecilia. Wielder, we appeal to your honor and beg that we may negotiate a surrender. I am Amanda Breeze of the court's battalion and a stranger to these parts. I concede the field and will withdraw my forces. You are indeed a stranger, Parian, or you would know by my colors that I am Cecilia Stoutheart. Was it your weapons that armed the bandits who caused the uprising at my mines? There was a misunderstanding, my lady. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When we realized our betrayal, we had already signed the contract. By the mercenary code, we could not withdraw our services. Reveal to me your employer and their plans. If I am satisfied with your answer, I will spare you. But every Baryan of your company must leave my lands immediately. It was a Lady Hammond that hired us. The Topaz Battalion is sent to recover Ashbourne. So all, all of their battalions are named after, like, semi-precious stones. We are grateful for your mercenary, Lady Stoutheart. May this deal bring good fortune to each party. The information is adequate. I will spare your life and instead send you to the prison and castle Everkeep. There you may contemplate that honor might be worth more than gold. Wow. Uh, I was about to say, well, Celia is tough but fair, but wow, I don't know. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in the tender wild. Take two squads and transport Cap Captain Amanda Breeze to ever keep until we can arrange for his ransom. You can depend on upon me, Lady Stoutheart. Victory! With Barkspur restored to Stoutheart, Stoutheart rule... Of law, Cecilia gathered her troops once more and set out to pursue the Topaz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashbourne. For this, she would need 
the aid of Vilja uh, of Thorncliff, warden of Stoutheart and Cecilia, Cecilia's longtime friend. And there you have it. I figured it was uh, it was just about done. Oh, we have a cutscene. Conviction rose Cecilia of stout heart to crush rebellions and push back another upstart. Lady Helen claimed her settlement. Settle it. We begin. So um, we have a new level. Gotta say that uh, presentation of this game is is next level. I really appreciate it, and it's not just uh, like this game is not just eye candy. It's also not. It's it's really good. It's it's got some crunch to it. It's got some depth. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. You the progression is satisfying. The skills are fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of variety in the tactics and um, in the in the overworld. I'm looking forward to maybe like when we can start like developing towns and making just like much more like macro decisions over uh, what kind of resources we can gain, and as well as like maybe we can like have a bit more agency over what kind of troops we can uh, acquire, um, and maybe like other types of progression because like right now. We have a vague idea of how things work, like we get spells, we get essence, but maybe when we have more control over what kind of essence we get or what kind of spells we can cast, uh, what kind of equipment we can get, when we have more agency over those things, this game will really kind of uh, bloom into something a little bit more deep. But um, for now, like that was just the first level and we're just getting an idea of what this game has to offer. And, uh, you know, color me impressed. I'm, I'm really excited to play more of this. Uh, I hope you'll join me on a series. I think I will definitely be playing more of this for this channel. And uh, it should be a really good time. Songs of Conquest. Um, really cool. If you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.